Provide care and treatment for thousands of children right across the south. A new hospital unit costing £4 million will soon admit its first patients. It's based at Salisbury District Hospital and will accept children from Wiltshire, Hampshire and Dorset. Well, the current children's ward is housed in old cramped buildings dating from World War II. Our health correspondent Tom Savides has more. Five-year-old Jaden Bevan and his mother have spent the past eight months in hospital. Jaden was left brain damaged following a swimming accident and needs constant care and attention. His mother Debbie has no complaints about the quality of treatment at Salisbury District Hospital, but she admits the outdated and cramped facilities could be better. If you've got to be staying here for a long time, you do need the space and it's nice to have some privacy. We do know he does like lights. He looks at lights and he reacts to lights. And this sensory room is exactly what Jaden needs. It's part of the new children's unit which has cost four million pounds. It has state-of-the-art facilities which will be used by children from Wiltshire, Hampshire and Dorset. One million has been raised from fundraising and charity appeals. Obviously some of these families are going through some tough times and some of these children are, are you know, facing some really difficult treatments and if we can just make things easier for them, more enjoyable and enhance the level of care that they're going to uh, receive then that really is the inspiration and that will always be um, our goal. The current children's ward here at Salisbury District Hospital is currently housed in old wartime buildings dating back to the 1940s, which are no longer fit for purpose. Today, the Countess of Wessex was given a tour of the new site before it fully opens to patients in May. Hiya. Hi, Connie. Until then, today? children like three-year-old Connie Cooper will continue to receive treatment in the old ward. Connie's mother Sally is staying with her in hospital, but there is only one shower for the parents to share. That's about to change with most of the new rooms having their own en suites. I think if you're here for a length of stay, you know, um, it's, it's, you need the opportunity to have a shower every day. Um, you can't leave your child, especially when she's three and a half, for 20 minutes whilst you're queuing up waiting for a shower and then coming back. The old children's unit will close in a few weeks' time with patients and staff transferred to the new complex, where they will benefit from much improved facilities. Tom Savidas in Salisbury for Meridian Tonight.